The story of ramen is a unique and immersive cooking experience in San Francisco's Mission District, where you can learn how to make the perfect bowl of ramen from scratch. They have classes for making noodles and even advanced classes for making the perfect broth and toppings. And here to tell us more is the founder and chief experience offer Officer Manville Chan and co owner and chief marketing officer Jeff Parsons. Manville, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us here. Oh, hey, thank you, Jessica. I want to know all about the story of ramen. How did it get started? So, uh, we started about seven years ago after studying Yokohama, Japan. Uh, both of us studied at a ramen school there. Uh, there's such a love affair with ramen right now, and we wanted to capitalize on that. Uh, so, we had this idea of bringing people together over a communal counter, making their noodles. Uh, making their broth, adding their spices, creating their perfect bowl of ramen. And so we started building the business. Uh, we host about 1,000 people per month now, perfect for date nights, friends and families to come in. We also do a lot of company team building. So we just find that people love ramen so much, and we want to help them fulfill that passion and that enthusiasm about such a great food. Yeah, I love ramen. I fall into that camp. Manville, what do you see from the people who come in to take classes? What do you see them enjoying about the process? A lot of times I would say it's enjoying people making the noodles of perfect bowl of ramen with love. I always kind of describe um, every ramen restaurant you go is missing one ingredient and that's love. But making ramen with people you love, not just learning, but kind of experience the whole process. It's just magical and it's, you know, very cool. So, yes, I mm -hmm. agree. Ramen is like love in a bowl, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you guys can kind of give us some more tips and tricks on how you can make it extra loving. Um, mm -hmm. We're going get to get into building this in just a minute, but I want to touch again on what something you just said, your classes. You guys host over a thousand people a month. What are these classes like and how can people get involved? Sure, uh, we offer two types of classes. One is a two-hour session where we focus on noodles. So you come into our counter, make your own noodles. We have you cooking your, your noodles, assembling that bowl of ramen. We also have some great uh, uh, gyozas for appetizers, and then we love our ice cream mochi for dessert. So we always have to have some mm -hmm. ice cream mochi for a dessert uh, and so in our four-hour class it's a little more intensive for those people who really want to do the full bowl of ramen so we actually walk you through that entire bowl process for the broth we teach you how to make our spice it's our own recipe but we're happy to share that in our class we teach you all of the flavors that go into the bowl we still have you do the noodles there as well and the cooking and assembling but it's a much more intensive on, for those people who want to learn to make that entire bowl of ramen uh, all of our classes are posted on our website ramen PartySF.com, so anybody can book on any open session. Uh, and then our company team building events, usually we hold those Monday through Friday. You can also reserve that online at Ramen Party SF. Okay, love that. Manville, and what is the part that you love most about teaching ramen to everyone? Um, everyone's laughing, smiling, and always when they, which you could be doing soon, is cutting the noodle. It's always a wow moment. I can't believe I'm making your own ramen. I yeah. Really feel accomplished. Okay, um, if, we, yeah. if we can, I'd love to dive into it right now. So All we're right. gonna teach, get me started. What do we gotta do first? Okay, so typically in the class, we start out with making a dough. Uh, there are four ingredients to making a dough, which uh, we have a bag of bread flour here. Bread flour has higher gluten, so make it a little bit extra chewy, uh, extra, uh, uh, bite and we have something called like a, what we call secret ingredients in making ramen which is this little bottle here called lye water l-y-e lye water it makes the noodle have that sort of magical kind of uh, distinctive kind of springy elastic kind of rubber perfect bag. texture that right? is correct it's kind of like one of the ingredients that separate Italian pasta from a lot of Asian noodles okay a little bit of salt a little bit of water as well let's get started yeah. with running mm -hmm. this through so once you kind of combine that this is what you get here right yep so once you you combine it you get this dough here and then I'm gonna have you just put it in like here so you can see it kind of run it through here and then um, it looks like there's like not really a real uh, noodles here so I'm gonna have you roll it thinner so we okay. have this setting so here put it one, yep. one more time yep put it actually a few more times you can see it kind of transform it gets bigger and bigger longer and longer, longer and, thinner. and then uh, two more times. Okay. This is so cool. Yeah. I like this. Okay, so the, yep, I definitely feel it getting thinner. Yep. It's getting one longer one time. more time. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're changing the setting to kind of make it 
uh, stretch out to the perfect Yeah, so this setting, it, this knob that you can control makes this roller thinner and thinner, kind of like the drum get closer and closer. Yes. Makes it, the alternative, obviously, is to okay. use a rolling pin, but this makes it And then it how do we get the noodles fun. out of this? All right, that is always the fun, magical part, is using the cutter. So we're going to have you just put it in here. And here we then, go. Yep, there you are. So cool. Here all they all right. come. Make sure you catch it. So yes, got... these noodles are all coming through. This is awesome. Okay, so once we have these noodles, we're cheating. We're pretending like we have just cooked these, and we're going <laughs> to end up with some cooked noodles over there. Look at this. This is mm -hmm. so cool. Yep, so once you do that, of course, you don't eat it just like this. We're going to be Let's assembling. dive into the noodles yes. here. Or mm -hmm. What's the next step? The next step is to put together a bowl of ramen. Okay. So ramen is always like a, a lot of layering I'm going to have you give me the things. ingredients, and we're going to yep. move through so, quickly. Um, so this is called um, the salty base component. So Perfect. just put one so layer in. One of these. In. Yep. Okay, and then what's next? And do you like spice? I do. All right, so this is the spicy mix here. We're going to be putting one of these ladle right here. Okay, spicy mixture. This is going to make it spicy. I'll take some yep. spice. And then All what's right. next? And then next thing is we're going to be putting the broth in. Okay, so, so you put the this broth whole thing? In. Yep, that's a bone broth that makes with pork feet and pork neck And again, bones. if you want to learn the secrets on the best broth, you guys have that covered in your class, right? That is exactly this correct. This is looking yep. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, about, we have just about a minute left. How can we finish this off? So, we're going to be making, putting the noodles in here. So, let me show you how so we do this. So, just dump these in. Kind of dump this in without splashing. Oh. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. All right. And we're going to be that. putting all the toppings in. First, just have you kind of charge the meat. The meat. ramen is all about the toppings, right? You uh, guys, giving me a blowtorch. Yes. I don't know how safe we are doing this, but you just lightly do each one. Yep, lightly do each one. Exactly correct. Okay. I always kind of describe... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you turn this off before yeah. I do something dangerous. I always dangerous. kind of describe ramen as sort of like an art. People want like to decorate your yes. bowl. Yes. So let me show you how we decorate. You can just kind of follow me. Okay, First, we're finishing kind of off with our toppings. Put the meat in here. Kind of stack it. And then just kind of lightly put some of these toppings in here. Okay, so yeah. these are the toppings. What are, we, mm -hmm. what are we doing here? These are some mushroom and these are some... Bamboo shoots. Bamboo shoots, yep. the mushrooms. And this a little is looking bit of scallion beautiful. here. Yep. All right, we're and just finishing an, off. This is beautiful. Yep, there you are. Yep. Gentlemen, thank you. This mm. looks amazing. Cheers. Right, cheers. This is 